Joe and Lisa with Joe Lee Farms in Ecuador. Welcome back to the channel. Well, we're here today because we want to give you a little health update. Lisa's health is... A-okay. Yeah, she's in good health. So my health is better. We've had some comments on our video, Sick and Tired, and uh, thought maybe we should update people. Um, about eight months ago when I put that video out, I have been diagnosed with Epstein-Barr virus. So uh, that's a virus that sometimes you get it when your child stays in your body all your life and comes forth when your immune system's down a little bit, which is what happened to me. And I, you know, it, was, it makes you extremely tired. It affects the liver. You want to lay in bed all day and my eyes turned yellow and my urine turned brown. And so that's what made me know something was wrong. That's right. You can hear our burglar alarm going off in the background. Shut up, dog. So anyway, so um, we have a great doctor in Loja. Her name is Gabriella Romo, and she's a, a gastroenterologist actually. But uh, she diagnosed me, you know, did some blood work, and through a natural process, you know, mm -hmm. um, got me better. I uh, went to see her two weeks ago. She did some blood work. So congratulations, your your liver is completely healed. The liver was healed, doing much better. However, some foods just still weren't setting right with him. Yeah, I've had a condition all my life of diverticulitis, which is like little pockets in the colon, and those can get infected and flare up and cause issues. And well, I had problems, you know, since I was a teenager with it. And about 25 years ago, I had my colon actually burst and uh, almost died from that. Lisa took me to hospital in an ambulance and took out about 18 inches of my colon. And so um, I've had to kind of watch what I eat. But since moving to Ecuador, I was doing wonderfully and uh, no problem at all. And then we, um, you know, I guess the pandemic happened, started eating in town a lot. Mm -hmm. And I got a really bad bacteria in one of the restaurants in town. And silly me, I went and took some really strong antibiotics and it just destroyed my stomach floor. Yep. And so that just created an avalanche of problems. And what happens is the colon actually is inflamed and swells. You can see my stomach swell up and uh, just really bad shape. So I went to see Dr. Gabby yeah. and she um, uh, did, did a lot of things, but mostly she put me on um, probiotics. A lot of probiotics. Yeah. So and then, then we did a blood test, which was really helpful. It's a new blood test in Ecuador to check your allergies to foods. Yeah, and it's not necessarily allergies to foods, but it's actually, yeah, it's, it's what I'm reacting to. Mm -hmm. So she did the blood work a couple of weeks ago, checked me against 108 different foods, and about 50 of them popped positive. Surprising ones. Yeah, really, the ones that... If it's in the green in this test, it's, it's okay, you're not reacting. In the yellow, depending on where it is, you're reacting. In the orange, you're really reacting. Yeah. Salmon, trout, and tuna, which I eat a lot of, yeah, really, surprising. really caused me a problem. So really shocked. Honey? Honey, yeah. Yeah. Well, and the, you kind of thought eggs, but egg whites and egg yolks. Yeah. Flour, corn. So you, it hits your grains, it hits the eggs, and and then your salmon. You can still have meats, all the meats he was fine on. But when you go try to find something to cook without eggs, without flour, um, it doesn't hit any of your categories of food, so it has I can become do, difficult. Yeah, I can do potatoes and rice. Yeah. Um, I have to be careful with some vegetables because they affect my diverticulitis, mm -hmm. um, like broccoli and cruciferous vegetables are not good for diverticulitis. Yeah. So um, at least while I'm inflamed and while I have, you know, a flare up, I can't eat those. Well, and the thinking is, is that because he had so many stomach issues and it kind of threw him all out of balance, that eight weeks of staying on probiotics without these things inflaming his system should put him back into the normal range. Yeah, so until mid-May, I am uh, can't, I gotta stay away from those foods and not, not try them, mm -hmm. which is tough. Yeah, it is tough. <laughs> I like corn tortillas, but yeah, so I can't have those foods for eight weeks. And I'm taking about six different probiotics um, mm -hmm. throughout the day. And um, so I'm already feeling a difference two weeks into this. Yeah. 
Um, mm -hmm. I'm not having pain. I don't lie awake at night or anything like that, mm -hmm. like I was. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we're already seeing a difference, kind of optimistic, guardedly optimistic. Yeah. Um, I've been down this road so much and for so long. Well, and it's really been good, too, because usually he'll get to feeling a little better, and then he'll go, okay, I can eat something else now. But saying, okay, nothing for eight weeks. You have to stay on a really strict diet for eight weeks. I think yeah. we might actually see some change this time. Yeah, and I had to be real careful. No apples, no um, pineapple. Mm -hmm. So some of the fruits are extremely bad, too. Yeah. Um, bananas are okay, you know. Bananas and plantain, yay! Yeah, yeah. We eat some plantain for breakfast. But no dairy products. I can have sheep's milk but I don't even bother with that. So I'm not a big milk drinker or anything. No, surprisingly, goat's milk came up on it, which we yeah, were surprised. Yeah. I kind of figured I had an allergy to caseins, mm -hmm. so I usually stay away from milk and cheese anyway. Yeah. But uh, the goat's milk kind of was surprising. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are some real weird ones on that test that pop positive. I, it's kind of shocking to me. So, yeah, it's the way it is. Um, anyway, so... Glad we have some kind of solution on the table and we're moving forward with that. Hey, burglar alarm, be quiet. Come here, sit. There's uh, somebody walking by outside, so There's he's driving her nuts. There. Anyway, so yeah, so, you know, we're better. My blood pressure's never been better. Yeah, it's been really um, good lately. My eyes are extremely good. That last visit to the eye doctor, 2020. Yeah. Yeah, can't say too much about that. So, um, yeah, here in Ecuador, I mean, we've got really good health care, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, if you need really s certain types of specialists, maybe Cuenca is better. My eye doctor is in Cuenca because mm -hmm. he's the best retina surgeon in the, sta in the, in the country. country. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, so if you have a lot of health issues and you really need to be have real close access, maybe live in Cuenca. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I don't need that, that much here, and I'm fine. I have a cardiologist in Loa. Mm -hmm. He does fine work. Yeah, it's like everywhere you move. If you move somewhere new, you got to find the good, the good doctors. Yeah, I'm not one to go to the doctor a lot, except that when I have these kind of real serious near death kind of scares, then it's time for me to go. Yeah. Um, we caught this one in time, and so we're doing good. Everything's wonderful. Yeah. Um, life is just a joy. We um, were in Loja the other day filming the Hippiro Park. Oh. Awesome park. What an awesome park. A wonderful place to go. Just Great day. Any day of the week. Lisa and Santiago and I spent about four hours there just yeah. having a ball and just sitting and enjoying it too while we were there. The, the wildlife, the birds and everything. It's just gorgeous. When we it's go gorgeous. film something like that, we try not to make it all work, but, you know, make it fun and relaxing. Oh, yeah. And Well, that's one he said that they were going to go film it. And it's like, okay, that's a park I want to go to. Yeah. Because it's just... Immaculate. It's just incredible. You don't see anything like that. To me, I've not seen anything like that in the States. Yeah, I've been to some nice parks in the States, but this is really it's special in its Very special. own way. Yeah. yeah. Great for the kiddos. And we enjoy watching kids. You know, we miss our grandson, so hmm. that helps fill the gap a little bit. A little bit. So, yeah, and um, then we went to eat lunch at Mama Lola restaurant, which is wonderful. Very good food. Seven bucks. I had a whole plate full of uh, grilled chicken and and uh, roasted potatoes. All stuff on the diet, so it was really good. It didn't make me sick either, <laughs> which was even better. That's uh, true. Yeah, so we we enjoyed it. And uh, Dr. Gabby, if you're watching this, thank you so much for all the great care that you give me. Yes. We appreciate it greatly. So that's the update. We're doing good and, uh, you know, still um, getting around and walking as much as I can. And we walked like all over Hippiro Park. It is a walk, but it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, really a lot lots to look at. So that's the update. Hope you're all doing good. Hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. Hey, come and see us on the next one. Ciao. Ciao.